Constantinople, 678 AD. For four long years, Arab forces have laid siege to the capital of the Byzantine Empire. But then the Byzantines risk a daring counterattack and unleash a devastating inferno. Streams of flame shoot out from Byzantine vessels, lighting the water on fire and incinerating the Arab ships. This fearsome weapon would come to be known as Greek fire. Greek fire was one of the most formidable weapons of its era. Imagine your ship suddenly being engulfed in flames that were almost impossible to extinguish. Not only was there this immense physical danger, but there was also a massive psychological impact. The loud roar of the flames, the sight of it, the sound of it, was really enough to put terror into these Arab forces. At sea, Greek fire was very useful because if there's something a mariner really has a fear of, it's being set light to on a ship because there's nowhere to go. And so Greek fire had a terrifying aspect to it, setting light to ships and burning people. Throughout the Middle Ages, the Byzantine Empire used Greek fire to strike fear into the hearts of fighting men. But how did the Byzantines develop such a powerful weapon of mass destruction? Greek fire acquired its name simply because the Byzantines spoke Greek. It was quite mysterious because it was very quickly established as a state secret of the Byzantine Empire. But we do know that it was a very effective weapons system. While the exact formula of Greek fire may be lost to history, experts have proposed several theories regarding the composition of this fiery concoction. Most scholars agree that the basic constituent materials were probably naphtha, a naturally occurring hydrocarbon, mixed with pine resin. The naphtha provided the flammability, and the pine resin thickened the substance and caused it to burn longer once it had been ignited. The secret to Greek fire being used on water is probably the addition of quicklime, which likely gave it an explosive quality that allowed it to burn and have much more damage on water. In fact, the water played a role in perpetuating the reaction and causing the burning to increase. There is certainly speculation as to the different recipes for Greek fire. But it would be very difficult to say what the classic Greek fire actually is. <laughs> 